and Shalom. I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakudash. Right, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is one of the world ignorantly calls God. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. Yahweh Shai is one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Bahasham means in the name. Rakakudash means Holy Spirit. Call me spirit, Kodash means holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Yah means he, Hawa means to be or exist. So Yahweh means he exists. Yahweh Shai means uh, he's the deliverer. Yah means he, Hawa Shai means the deliverer. All right, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right, this lesson is basically based on, you know. Really talking about um, <clears throat> how the elect is going to get delivered, all right? Because we know the missiles are coming, you know, and but the, you know, the elect ain't going to get hit with it, you know? The elect will not be hit with the missiles, all right? And how are they going to get delivered? Well, as you see on the screen here, you know, someone's getting beamed up into the chariot, all right? You know? So, and, and, and that's how it's going to come. You know, you're going to have some of the men of the Lord that's going to be with, you know, be on the chariot. You know, that died that's going to be on the chariot. But, um, you know, when your house comes back, some of the men of the Lord that's going to, that's, that, um, that, you know, that, that are dead, you know, they'll, they'll be on the um, chariot when your house returns. All right. And then, you know, the elect that's still alive, they're going to get beamed up. All right. Now. Let me, um, <clears throat> let me, uh, right, but let me just get an example, as you see right here, this picture, all right? Now, first, let's, you know, just to see something real quick. There's the book of Acts, chapter 1, starting verse 9. And when he, talking about Yahweh Shai, had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. And a cloud received him out of the sight, right? You know, Yahweh Shai, you know, had, um, you know, left. When Yahweh Shai left the earth, you know, a thousand years ago, all right, he was beamed up into a chariot, you know. Give me one second. Chariot had beamed up Yahweh Shai. It says, in a cloud received him out of their sight. The chariot had beamed up Yahweh Shai. All right, verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two two men, some of two angels, stood by them in white apparel. Verse 11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him going to heaven. All right, see, how was Shai going to come back with the chariots, man? It's so-called UFOs, okay? It's, you know, the so-called UFOs. All right, see, the chariots, man. All right, so real quick, Ezekiel 1 and 16. The appearance of the wheels in their work was like unto the color of a barrel, and they four had one likeness. And their appearance in their work were as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel, you know? So, you know, that's how a so-called UFO looks, man, you know, some of the time. You know, what pop the popular way of um, you know, a chariot being uh, you know, the popular way of a you know, chariot or popular way people think of a chariot is um, you know, a wheel as a as a wheel within a wheel. Okay, that's how so called UFO looks. You know, as well, you know you know, as people would normally think of them, you know, to come. Wheel within a wheel, okay. Now, let me get down to scripture. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he, he talking about Yahweh Shai, come up with clouds and come with them so called UFOs. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kings of the earth shall well because of him, even so a mun. All right, and the point I want to gather that is when is, is the fact that Yahweh Shai, all right, he coming back with them chariots. All right, I'm so-called UFOs, okay, and the ele and and you know the chariots are gonna shoot lasers, but you know the elect, they're also gonna beam up the elect, you know. 
how, you know, your house, like how you, you know, like how your house shy was beamed up, you know, Prophet Elijah was beamed up. Okay. This is the book of Second Kings, chapter two, starting at verse eleven, and it came to pass. As they still went on and talked. Really. As it, and it came to pass as they still went on and talked that behold they prepared a chariot of fire you know fire talking about I'm talking about the lights on the chariot all right and horses of fire horses representing power it says imparted uh, them both asunder meaning elijah got beamed up not elisha all right it says and elijah went up by a whirlwind in heaven all right so elijah had gotten beamed up Verse 12, and Elisha saw it and cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horsemen thereof, which are the angels. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes, and he and rent them in two pieces. All right. So, yeah. You know. So the chariot, you know, the chariots are going to, the chariot, or the chariot is going to beam up the elect when Yahweh returns. That's part of what they're going to do, is beam up the elect. Let's get it. The scripture that says it is the book of Matthew 24, verse 31. And he shall, let me start at verse 30. And then shall I pray the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man, the Son of Man, which is Yahweh Shai, coming in the clouds of heaven, so which are the so called UFOs, with the power and great glory. And he, he talking about Yahweh Shai, shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together as elect from the four winds, from one in heaven to the other. So that's going into the elect, getting beamed up, man. You know, as you saw in the picture. You know, you know that's it. I'm not saying this dude in the picture is the elect, but, it, you know, it's just showing, you know, the elect. Just showing that, you know, how, you know, pretty much how the... Going into how, you know, the elect are going to get beamed up into the chariot, you know. And they're not going to get hit with the, the, the nuclear fire, all right? You know? And the elect is going to come from all over the earth. Okay. Let me get this next scripture here. One more. You know, it's a pretty quick lesson to the point. All right, Revelation chapter 11, starting at verse 12. And they, heard, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud. All right. A cloud being a, that chariot, man. All right. It says, And their enemies beheld them. Verse 13, in the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. Matter of fact, let me, give me one second. Let's go on. Yeah, the earthquake going into, you know, uh, the scriptures say Isaiah 24 and 20, the, um, you know, the, uh, the, the earth shall reel to him for like a drunkard, all right? Which the nuclear missiles is going to cause the earth to shake. That's what it's talking about. All right. So, for Revelation 11 and 13. In the same hour was there a great earthquake in the 10th part of the city. The city being America. Fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men. 7,000. And the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the power of heaven. All right. And where it says 7,000 is talking about completion. All right. So, it just means a, com a complete destruction of people in America. All right, so everyone standing on, on America, on the soils of America, when the missiles hit, is going to be destroyed. All right? That's what it's going into. You know? So where it says in the earthquake, we're slain the men 7,000. All right? So, yeah. You know, the, but the elect is going to be in the chariot, man, as it says in verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. All right, and we're nearing that time, you know. Prophecies is coming along, man. You know, we're nearing that time, man. We're nearing the time of um, you know, this 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 time. You know, we're nearing that time of Yahweh Shah returning. Okay, we're we're nearing it, man. Okay, but um, let me just say something. Bear with me. You know, we don't know the exact day that Yahweh will return. All right, but when he does, one thing he's going to do is beam up his elect. 
okay? So, yeah, man. All right, how shy is going? You know, my well, Akim, you know, the sincere like minded brothers as myself, teaching the doctor, teaching the teaching only the doctrine that the apostles and elders of great millstone teach and sincerity man you know akim our lord and savior yahweh shah hamashiach is gonna come back soon man he's gonna come back to this earth and rule it in righteousness okay our lord is coming akim you know so hey you know hey man lord willing this lesson was edifying you no know, quick lesson Not much all right lord willing the lesson was edifying okay Give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai Baha Shem Racha Quadash. All right, that belongs to the elders and apostles, great millstone number well, peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right, Shalom, Shalom, which means peace, or Shalom, Shalom to the elect.